Hello friends, thank you for joining me on another plan with me. It's Monica sitting down to plan out the week of February 6th through the 12th. I am using this really just pretty like getting in the mood, those February vibes, those Valentine's moods kinds of kind of kit here. My RB004, it's my four page Hobonichi uh, cousin kit. Let me move my phone out of the way here. Um, and I'm ready to get started. So let's see. I've got my kit here. I have my scripts already pre-printed for me. This is the same font that I used last week, except now it's on my um, weatherproof paper as opposed to my clear matte paper. Just again, I kind of just get lazy and I just use whatever is already in my printer. And that's just what I use. So let us get started. Um, I did a little, well, obviously I did the pre-plans and here comes things tumbling down. I did my pre-plan as I printed out my scripts and um, the only thing I've got really going on this week is that my doggos have a vet appointment and I don't understand why I made this error. So both of them need their vaccines. They both go to uh, doggy daycare and so they have to, you know, well, they for sure have to be updated on their vaccines in general anyways, but um, I have to make sure that their vaccines are up to date so that they can continue to go to daycare. And I made the appointment, but I'm so dumb because I made the appointment for them both at the same time, which really does sound like a good idea because why wouldn't you want to take them at the same time? You know, why would I want to make multiple trips to the vet? But the reason I should have been smarter about it is because I can't manage both of those dogs by myself. First of all, they get so excited. They're happy dogs. And because they are happy dogs and they love everybody, they think everybody's supposed to love them and they get very excited and they are very strong. And people are not very confident when they see me <laughs> with these two dogs. They don't think that, <laughs> I mean, and they're quite right. I can't do it on my own. So somebody's gonna have to definitely go with me. Um, like my one of my daughters is gonna have to, my daughter Emma's gonna have to go with me. Um, but I, I'm pretty sure I make people very nervous when they see me, even walking just one dog, because they're probably thinking, okay, these dogs are going to eat us because this lady can't control or handle both of these dogs. They're very strong, um, but they're just loving. They just love the world. They're excited to see everything, and they just love everything, so... I mean, what what could be wrong with that? Nothing. So if I can't get one of my children, if I can't get Emma to go with me, which I don't see why she wouldn't be able to, but in the event that she can't, then I have to totally reschedule because I can't take both of them at the same time. They are too much for me to handle. And the other thing too is that they um, they don't both walk like like if I have one on one leash and one on the other leash they don't just walk straight they like to do this and this and go around and that's what makes it such a problem it's not that I can't handle them it's just that they walk crazy and that's why I can't keep track of them that way okay. So my sidebar, I'm going to keep it just like I did last week. I'm going to do my laundry. I changed up a few things too because I realized the, the more that I was using this planner that there were just some things I was not referring back to when I was on the weekly page. And that was like the dinner section, even though I, I the intention was to just kind of use it like as a time block you know, just to kind of see the time block. I wasn't actually really using it. I wasn't filling in my meals in this view like I do in my, um, or like I, I am in my, in my daily view. So I just, um, 
I eliminated it from here. Um, what am I putting here? Oh, these. So we had a very, very eventful last couple of days. So I'm filming this on Sunday. Well, on Thursday night, our cat Jughead, in the middle of the night, so the dogs, um, the dogs woke up, had to go outside to use the bathroom in the middle of the night. So I let them out the screen door, you know, or I let them out um, the back door at like two in the morning and Jughead bolted. He ran out the door. And it wasn't that big a deal that he ran outside because he goes outside often in our backyard. However, this time he jumped up on the fence on our wall. We have like a brick wall uh, that separates the neighbors, the yards. And anyways, he jumped up and then he ran. He ran. And it was so dark. It was, you know, in the middle of the night and I couldn't see a thing. And I'm calling for him and calling for him. I was freaking out because one, I was pissed because it was in the middle of the night. I wanted to go back. To, I wanted to go to sleep. Two, I was cold. Um, and three, my cat just ran out. And so, since I knew he had done this before, he's done this many times. Like he goes outside, he always comes back in. You know. I, you know, I, again, I was just like calling for him, calling for him, calling for him. He didn't return. I'm like, shit. What do I do now? So I'm like, well, I'm just gonna leave this sliding glass door just like propped open, like a, you know, opened up just like a crack enough for him to like walk, you'd be able to have room to walk back in. He never came back. And I was like, I couldn't sleep the whole, the whole rest of the night. I went out into the living room. I slept out on the couch, just hoping to hear him or something. And, um, he never, he never came back. So in the morning, before I left for work, I had to wake up my daughters and tell them, like, hey, um, Juggy went out and he hasn't returned. So my daughters, of course, were devastated. Emma was, like, crying. Obviously, it's her cat, so she loves him more than anything. And we were just heartbroken. So I went to work Friday, came back after work on Friday and we went again driving around trying to call we were calling for him we were uh, we were just going crazy and then um, Friday night we went and put signs up on our in our neighborhood on the mailbox box thing to see if uh, you know just with the lost like a lost picture you know lost cat please help find our cat type of situation so that was um, Friday night and then all day Saturday so all day yesterday again we went around just like kind of calling for him nothing and we were just it was awful because we couldn't find him and we had to like come to terms that we well I was like hoping and praying that if anything somebody has him somebody's taking care of him and everything is you know he's being taken care of I didn't want to think the worst in any way shape or form and um so yeah so saturday again devastated because he never returned and then this morning on sunday um, we left our house so that we could um take emma to her rehearsal she had rehearsals this morning and um i had already posted in the in, like in the neighborhood app that we have that you know, that he had gotten out, if anybody finds him, like if you can just notify me right away. And um, so then somebody today, this morning posted, or responded to that post in my in the neighborhood app. She's like, I'm sure he's still out here running around. I saw a gray cat twice, uh, but he runs away when I call for him. So I'm like, yeah, that kind of sounds like something Jughead would do. Um, he's just, he's an indoor cat, so that would, it, he's, I'm sure he's just very scared and it's just skittish, you know, to be outside, you know. So, 
we drive home after you know after MS practice and then we're driving really slow down our street because the lady who responded to that text or that post wrote that she's like I'm pretty sure he's still here um, that he's here on the street so we were calling for him calling for him calling for him. we were like shouting out our through the, our car windows like juggy jughead you know whatever well then um, we pull into our driveway in our house and again my daughter calls for him and we hear we hear a sound we hear a cat meow and we're like oh my god I've never like jumped out of my car so fast because we thought that he was already in our backyard and our door at this point obviously is closed so my daughter Emma gets out of the car and she runs to the side of the house like toward the backyard I run into the garage into my house so I could go and open the sliding glass door and um, he wasn't back there and so when I go back up to the front turns out he was crying for us but he was at our across the street neighbor's house they had caught him they had him in like a little carrier and um, they were walking to the getting my phone number off of the mailbox so he was outside that's why we heard him oh my gosh you guys we were just like uh, I couldn't even stop smiling I was so just overjoyed and I couldn't even believe it that we found him because, you know, three days out, two days out, and he was by himself. Like, I don't know where he was or what he was doing or who had him or what, but we were, we, we were starting to think the worst. We have coyotes around our neighborhood. We're like, oh, no. So, anyways, we got so lucky because he was caught and he came home and so now we have him and then the funny part is when we brought him inside the house and we took him out of the out of the little pet carrier um you know we're like oh my gosh Shaggy, we're hugging him and holding him and then he um we put him down right we put him down and then he's just like walking around like what what's the big what's the big deal like what what's wrong with y'all <laughs> like Oh my gosh, this cat is crazy. He's just walking around like if nothing at all had happened. And I'm just like, goodness gracious. It was, oh, ugh. The number of emotions are out of control. So, but we have our juggy back. We're so excited. And then I ordered him right now a, um, a collar that has the, um, that you know how you you well anyways it's like a tracking device so I uh, I ordered one of those the issue though the reason we didn't have a collar on him now is because our dogs who still like to play with him um, one time they they grabbed him by the collar like to to catch him and um, I don't want them to do that obviously so we just had to be really careful. We got to see how how it all works. But anyways, I have laid out my whole sidebar and all of Monday, and I didn't even get to talk to you about what I've got going on. So I have my sidebar set up the exact same way, except this time I went ahead and printed out with my scripts the different loads of laundry that I do during the week. That way, just as I get, you know, what needs to still be done, I can check it, write it down on my to-do list for the day, and then check mark it as it's done. Monday is when my monthly kits for April will be released. So the day that you are watching this, hopefully if you're watching this on Monday the 6th, that's when my monthly kits will come up. My daughter has an appointment. And then this whole week, I have to definitely work on designing my new weekly kits. I have a lineup of five new weekly kits that are coming up. So I need to continue to work on those because on, they'll be released on Friday. And then I do my weekly savings and my pay bills on Monday. So that was that. <sighs> okay, now on to Tuesday. I am going to just put a little sticker here to mark trash day. And use my little icon here. Okay, so on Tuesday, 
Come on. Um, I have a meeting at work. Oh, I'm finally out of my of that classroom. I um, the teacher has finally gotten her license. It's all set up. It's all ready to go. So she has taken over that class, which I am so happy about because now I can get back to doing all the things that I need to do in my office. Um, I have lots of things, but I have. Um, a meeting on this day and we've been doing this um, it's kind of like a training on ultimately it's about it's it's a coaching meeting so basically my position is a learning strategist but it's a intended to be like as a coach as a, a coach for teachers so I can do observations things like that and then um, this meeting kind of trains you in, or trains me in how to, um, give, you know, just to do it properly, how to do it properly. We'll just say it that way. This is the day the doggos have their vet appointment. I am, let me just use it. I'm going to do, again, my shop work for the night is going to include... Um, obviously whatever open orders I may have, but most certainly I have to make sure that I do my, my designing on my weeklies. Um, this time now that I've printed it on sticker paper that I can actually write on, these little boxes make a whole lot more sense because I can actually do that easily without having to worry about what pen I'm using and stuff like that. Okay, on to Wednesday. Um, I don't really have a whole lot. I'm going to use this one on Sunday because it says Happy Sunday there on that box. So I'm going to skip it and go to this one. Wednesday. Um, my only issue with work right now is that um, we have testing happening. So um, there are three strategists. So the other two strategists are are dealing with that and handling that mostly because it didn't real we didn't know when I was going to be out of that classroom um, you know be out of the classroom to be able to do the testing so anyways they've got all of that scheduled and ready to go um, but because they are are um, you know doing that now I have to cover classes in the event we don't have a sub so last week was was just one of those weeks it was just hard to kind of get everything as it needed to be you know I don't know I don't know how to say it but I was back into my office but I still didn't get to finish everything I needed to finish okay Thursday I have a meeting Thursday morning. Let's see. So at work, I have another meeting, so I'll use one of these. And it's here. I probably will have more meetings on this Thursday. So when we do our PLCs, but this is the only one that's like confirmed on my work calendar and then I will by Thursday I need to have all of my designs finished so that I can get all of the listings um, completed so that they are ready to go for Friday and as actually um, I'll probably end up listing it Thursday night so that way I don't have to worry about doing it Friday morning because if I run into a situation where I can't I don't have a second to myself then I won't be able to do it at work which I'm not really supposed to anyways this new school that I'm working at this year compared to last year is very different like here at the school I am like I need to stay busy the whole the whole day the other school, I um, had a little bit more 
more free time, I guess you can say. Okay, so on Friday, that is my new releases. Let's put that there. Friday, I also have to do my Invisalign scan. Um, I'll do this after, well, I'm going to do it in the morning, but I'll put it on my, here, just so I can put this still at 7, not mess it up too much. I'll put this on right down here. I was able to move on to my next tray last Friday, which is nice. And this one actually doesn't hurt so much, so maybe I'm finally at the point where Maybe the amount of moving that it's doing is not going to, you know, kill me anymore with the amount of pain. My teeth were always so sore. They were constant, constantly sore. Okay, so that is what Friday looks like. Okay, and then... Saturday. Saturday, let me mark my AM routine. I'm not waking up that early. I'll just put it here. And then I'm going to do some shop work. My daughter has a gig. Hmm, let's see. I'll do shop work here just to kind of break up these full boxes a little bit. So shop work here. My daughter's gig is at like three. Um, so that means what right here, right? Okay. I'll put the full box down here. I mean, I guess I could have put it there. Would have been like perfect fit. I'll just put it here. Now I'm looking at it. Does that look dumb? Hmm. Oh, I need to put my Hello Weekend. I'll put this one up here. I guess it's okay. It looks fine. Okay. Oh, did I mention that my I'm using my um, Shameless um, collab with Chipsy Dog. I don't know what do you what do you call these backdrop things? I don't know. It's, but it's so soft. It feels good. I like it. Okay, that was Sunday. No, Saturday. And now Sunday. Did that? Is that gonna fit? Sunday is Super Bowl Sunday. Now, generally, I don't really care about Super Bowl Sunday, except now my husband asked me yesterday if we can host the a Super Bowl party at our house, and I said, sure, let's do it. So, Super Bowl Sunday. Party at my house. I found a... TikTok that has um, like a setup for your um, like a snack table for a snack table and it was so cute so I'm going to try to recreate it we'll see but I also need to make sure that I do my plan with me so I film I'm just going to do them here. Edit and upload. So if I do this early enough on Sunday. Oh, and I need to get my nails redone because I meant to go this week. I mean, same old story. I just can't pull myself together to go. But I I desperately need to go because my all of my nails are like broken. I should have remembered that um, my nails are not very strong and they break very easily 
So that's why I was getting the freaking hard gel um, nail extensions, the Gel X. Wash my makeup brushes and do my PM routine here. Okay. And there is that. Let me do a this week. Or let me do a don't forget. Right over here. Okay, let's see. Look at how pretty that is. Just so sweet. The colors are just so nice. Pink and purple. I mean, very, very girly. Very, very sweet. Getting ready for that romantic week, which is actually next week. So, anyways, here's what we got. Thank you guys so very much for joining me on this plan with me. Um, again, make sure you're checking the shop on Monday for those monthly releases and then on Friday for the weekly releases that are coming out. So, Thank you guys so much. If you haven't yet already, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button so you can follow me along this planning journey of mine. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Thank you so much. Bye.